I survived 100 days in the brand new 1.18 update in Hardcore Minecraft. And my main goals in this video is to get as OP and rich as possible, explore the new world, and to build three unique houses in the Dripstone Cave, the Lush Cave, and the highest mountain I can find. Also, please subscribe and join the Cookie Army. We are so close to 2 million subscribers. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Sup. My goal in this world is to get as OP as possible, so let's start on the basics and get some wood. Let's get my basic tools crafted. And luckily, there's a village right over there. So let's go explore that. And these hill generations are insane in the 1.18 update. Yo, what? I spawned beside Mount Everest. Hello, anybody home? I guess not. I'm gonna yoink your bed. Let's steal some seeds. Wait, what am I doing? I don't need this. Let's just rob their hay blocks. The sun is already setting. So let's go to bed. Bop, bop. Boop. Ah, yes. Unlimited food. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have some more, right? Let me just borrow some of these. And let me just borrow some of your meat. And let me just borrow some iron from you. Oh, that was close. Beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop, bop, beep, 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 boop, beep, beep, bop, beep, bop. Yeet, yeet. Oh, yeah. And let's craft an iron pickaxe. I then spend the rest of day two looting the entire village and taking everything I can. But before we explore that giant mountain, let's go mining really quickly. Right in this cave right here. Oh, man. These cave generations are insane. Look at that little pool of water in there. That is crazy. I do see some iron over there. Do I make the run for it? Nah, that's too dangerous. Iron, 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 iron. I need iron. Quickly mine this. Go, 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 go. They're coming for me from all angles. Go, go, go. Oh, man. They are everywhere. Ow. Go away. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Oh, bro. Why, why, why? I'm gonna die right here. Yee. Oh, I finally made it all safe. If only 1.18 added dragons. Imagine riding a dragon instead of an elytra. Which brings me to today's sponsor. Dragon City is a free-to-play game where you can collect thousands of dragons of different elements and rarities and build your own dragon army. Just like the cookie army. You will need to collect food, gold, and gems in order to expand your city and unlock new levels. And the best part is you can even breed two different dragons to get a brand new one. And once you feed them, they will evolve. Once you have your awesome dragons, you can train them and take them to battle to make them even more powerful. You can even find custom dragons of your favorite YouTubers. For example, this month, Dragon City has partnered up with Unspeakable to create the Unspeakable Dragon. One day, we're going to have a Cookie God Dragon. Just imagine how awesome he would look. And if you guys want to unlock new rewards and dragons every single day, they have several events every single week and a brand new battle pass. So if you guys are interested in playing Dragon City, click the first link in the description below to download Dragon City. And when you start, you will get a very special free reward of 15,000 food and the Scout Dragon. Thank you, Dragon City, and right back to the video yeah let's just strip mine instead all right ran into a little cave let's steal some coal ah uh, yes some iron nice and just one bruh oh there we go i then spent the rest of the day mining for iron and i got a full set of armor now can somebody explain why there are four creepers chilling on this little platform here what are the chances but hey i found an amethyst geo let's mine some of this this is literally my favorite block it's so beautiful and i can't forget to make a shield and now it's finally time to go explore mount everest that is a crazy mountain over there well let's start climbing this is gonna be a long way up all right i'm near the clouds now oh my god is this a village in here yo i just found literal paradise look at this little grass patch in between these giant mountains there's even a village here that is insane i think that's where i'm gonna build my home yo 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 no 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 back off back off attack me instead go away are you okay buddy bruh i can't believe i caught that oh what is happening i'm stuck well, hello what, what do i do i'm sinking bruh what is this what you can freeze in minecraft now uh i was not expecting that what oh man that is crazy oh oh Hey, I'm falling again. Yeah, these two houses aren't really in the best spot. I then spend the rest of day five covering up this cave to protect this village. I don't want to see another baby villager get attacked. Oh no, there's a villager drowning. No, uh, not drowning. He's freezing to death. Yo, let me save you. Get out of there bruh yo and he jumps right back in hello is this fun to you learn something brother yeah let's make a shovel and let's get rid of all of this snow it's a little too dangerous especially for these dumb villagers what are you doing all right let's let them be for now because i'm gonna go make my own home this place is so beautiful i love it there's a nice family of chickens a nice family of pigs there's even wolves everywhere and now i'm gonna ruin it by building my house right in the middle of this place i spent the rest of day six collecting resources and materials to build myself a house and once I got everything, I started working. All right. 
right, I got my little shack built out. It's not fully complete yet. I still need some glass inside. So let's go explore and find some sand. Oh, yeah. I see some over there. It's not exactly a desert, but any sand will do. Oh, there's a jungle biome over there as well. I definitely want to go explore that later on. But in the meantime, let's steal some sand. Let's go ahead and smell all this up. And now let's put in our windows. And there we go. Let's throw in some doors. Bop, bop. And my simple little home is complete. And I just finished decorating the inside and organizing my chest. And I realized I am pretty poor. So let's spend the next couple of days mining for some diamonds. I see you guys up there. You trying to hide? Yeah, you best come down here. Uh, to your death. Yeet. Uh, yeet. Stay away from my village. But let's head into this cave and find some diamonds. There's a bunch of emeralds around here, though. Let's grab some more coal. Let's grab some more iron. All right, I found a new cave. And bruh, look. <laughs> Look at this. What? Okay, let me just run right past all these guys all the way down over there. And hopefully there's some diamonds down there. There are so many mobs. Let me just dodge. Oh, let's dodge all you guys. Oh, oh my God. There's so many mobs up there. Let's just be careful and mine this way. Block myself off. All right, there's a mine shaft over here. Ooh, a chest. What's in here? A golden apple. That'll be helpful. And some more food. I'll take that. Yo, this boy isn't even in water. How does that make sense? He's just floating. But I found a deep slate biome. And oh yeah, there's the diamonds. Yay. Oh. Oh, that was a close one. And of course, it's guarded by an army of skeletons. Let's go to war. Yeet, 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 yeet. And the final yeet. Give me them diamonds. Are you serious? Only one? Bruh. There's more over here, though. Yoink. And that's it. And after a couple of days of mining, this is what I got. I finally managed to get 26 diamonds, which is enough for a full set of armor and a bunch of other stuff. Mining diamonds in the 1.18 update is so much easier. I'm finally back home. Let's make some armor. Pop, pop, pop. And some pants. Throw this garbage away. And I'm suited up. But since we're playing on a 1.18 world, let's go exploring the land. Let's see if I can find any cool things. But first, let's climb to the very top of this peak of the mountain because uh, I think it's pretty cool being this high. And look at my little house down there. It looks so cute. But when you turn around, Minecraft looks so different. This is insane. Look at this area over here. There's a giant hole in the ground. Let's go explore that. Let's go see what's in there. Uh, 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 uh. I probably shouldn't be doing that. Ooh, perfect. Let's yoink some water. Let's see what's hiding in here. Holy cow. This goes so deep. That's what she said. Cave generation is pretty insane now. How about this cave over here? Oh man, this goes really deep as well. I feel like I'm playing in an amplified world. This is insane. Like take a look at the mountain I'm living in. That right there is Mount Everest. Ooh, there's another village over there. Let's give them a friendly hello. Knock, knock. Is anybody home? What's up, bro? Oh, there's Oh, I'm sorry for interrupting the, your uh, business. Let me just put the door back. <clears throat> Ooh, some potatoes. Oh, yeah, some more wheat. Uh, yoink, 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 yoink. Some carrots and potatoes. Oh, yes, some bookshelves. Exactly what I need. Well, it's time to go to bed in this beautiful world. All right, let's spend the rest of this beautiful day robbing these villagers. It's like I'll return them one day. Maybe in the next life, though. Sorry, bud. Don't mind me, sir. Let me just, uh, Yoink all this. Slurp it up. That guy just staring at me. <laughs> oh, yo. Sure, cane as well. I needed that. Jump down here. Do it. And let's collect. Oh, my God. This guy tall. This guy a fat boy. I'm taller, though. If I jump. Who am I kidding? I'm so short. I'm like four foot five. That's on a good day, too. Ooh, there's a sunken ship over there. Let's go check it out. And an abandoned nether portal. That's a two for one deal. What's inside this chest? Ooh, another golden apple. Golden axe. Some other stuff. But let's steal this gold block here. Give me that. Now on to the sunken ship. What can I steal? Potato and nothing else really that good. Ooh, a buried treasure map. And this one looks like it's on land. And it should be right over here. Aha. And, oh, yeah. Bunch of iron, gold, heart of the sea, and some other goodies. And just look at the sunset. Minecraft, just so beautiful. I then spent the next couple of days doing some basic Minecraft things, like mining some wood, collecting resources, mining underground, until I became rich enough to become rich. All right, now let's start working on a sugarcane farm. And why did I make a hole for the... Oh, man. I really need some sleep. Let's just pretend I didn't do that. That's kind of embarrassing. But let's hide some water underneath this house. And now I can plant sugar cane right on the side. And with all of these torches, let light up this entire entire little valley so it's mob free and it's 100% safe. And since my goal is to get as rich as possible in this world, let's first start off by making an iron golem farm. Let's name the zombie subscribe because you guys should totally click that button. And let's go ahead and build this iron golem farm right beside my house. And now for the difficult part, getting the villagers from there all the way into these beds. All right, you guys are going to be my test subjects. Please do not leave because I need you guys. Please stay in this box. Okay. Oh, no, we left. Please cooperate. And there we go. Let's build a giant bridge leading to the iron golem farm. And now let's steal some rails inside this mine shaft. Totally not because I'm too poor to make my own. Pfft. 
Nah. All right, that should be enough rails. And now let's put down all of the rails. This is so satisfying. All right, get in the stupid mine cart. All right, you stupid villager, get in the mine cart. It's your time. Come on, jump, bro. All right, there. No, 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 no. Oh, you thought. Yes, there you go. And he's too fat to make it up to the top. That should do it. And off you go. Wee. And in you go. All right, now I just need a zombie in here. As a wait till the nightfall. All right, follow me, buddy. Right through here. And fall right in there. Ugh. And you are my subscribe button now. And perfect. The hard part is complete. Hey, our first iron golem. Let's go. That's good news. It's working. Well, let's have get here for a couple of days to see how much iron I can get. All right, I am back with a total of five stacks and four pieces of iron. Hey, I'm not a peasant anymore. And also looks like my sugarcane has grown. So let's harvest this. And let's also increase the size of it. Because I really need to make an enchantment table soon. And there we go. But now let's continue exploring the 1.18 world. So let's make some more food. Oh, yeah, that, that's a lot. And I'm going to take all this with me to go find a dripstone cave. All right, let's head into the caves and search for a dripstone. Oh, this is a poopy cave. Let's go find a new one. Whee! Ugh. This one looks kind of promising. It's getting pretty narrow and I'm kind of claustrophobic. So, uh, get me out of here. And, uh, oh, I, I see some dripstone. I think I'm heading into one already. Oh, it's the daddy skeleton. Uh, uh. Oh, I just stole that skeleton's entire wardrobe. There has to be a giant dripstone layer. Oh my God, that goes really deep. Or, oh my God. I don't see a giant dripstone cave yet. I just see little hints of it. Oh, I see an, oh, I see two endermen. Let me just uh, push you off all the way down. Come on. Comply with... <laughs> that is a fat fall. But let's steal these guys' balls. Uh, that was a female. And that was a male. Yeet. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I found one. There's a lot of mobs in here, though. Go away. Ah, this zombie has a boner. You get it? That's a bad joke. Oh, yeah. We're getting the giant spikes. Uh, it's still not that big, though. That's what she said. I want a bigger one. Ooh, here we go. Where does this lead me to? Another dripstone cave? Look at the size of this guy. Now, that is a fat dripstone. But luckily for me, this dripstone cave is pretty close to my base. So I think I'm actually going to build a minecart system all the way over here. Oh, wait. There's an opening from the outside. I want to go see how it looks. Let's climb up here. Uh, uh, away, man. Yeah, let's go to bed. But this seed is pretty insane. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to give away the seed. But my base isn't that far away from this dripstone cave. So let's build a minecart system over here. And let's make it out of stone bricks. And now that we have all the materials, let's start crafting the giant railroad. It's looking pretty sick so far. We got out of the valley and let's head over to the dripstone cave. And I'm finally inside the dripstone cave. That took double the amount of materials I thought. But the entire track track is pretty cool it goes all the way down here it goes through some lava streams all these giant pillars through that wall it's a pretty sick roller coaster let's craft some more rail oh that, that is a lot more than i expected and now let's line up this entire place with the rails this is gonna be a pain this is kind of scary i'm walking a tight rope right now let's pray i don't fall and now we're going down into the dripstone cave this is a mission and finally for the moment of truth let's see if this whole my car system roller coaster thing works let's hop in click the button and let's go on a journey bro that that was uh we, we made it quite far. Let's just say that. All right, let's try again. Yeet, bro. All right, did some adjustments, and it should work now. Whee! All right. We're getting up the mountain. We're leaving our little home. It's kind of slow. Come on. Ugh. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. Let's add some more powered rails. And there we go. Over the mountain we go, out of the valley, and over to the new world. Across this entire forest. Some more speed. And down the hill we go. We're approaching a dripstone cave. And here we go. Whee! into the cave. Let's dodge some pillars here. Go by this lava stream. Through some more pillars over this giant cavern. Oh, there's some diamonds down there. Through the wall and we made it. Oh, no. No, we're not supposed to go back that way. Stop. Stop. Okay. That was fun. And let's see if it works going the other way. No, I'm too fat. No. And we've officially made it back home. But now I want to make a base over at the dripstone cave. So let's melt up some sand and collect some resources. All right. I got all the materials I need and let's head out. Come on, fatty. I really need to lose some weight, bro. All right. Let's start are building it right in the middle of this cave. I'm not sure what design I'm gonna go with yet, but you can never go wrong with a circle. And let's just fill the floor of glass so I can look down into the cave. It'll be a nice little viewing area. And there we go. I have a little pod floating in this cave and it acts as a nice viewing area. I even added some nice iron chains to hold it up. I think it looks
looks pretty cool. But with the build limit height increased in 1.18, I can finally make a mob farm all the way up there and won't be affected by the cave. And you know what? Let's make another giant minecart system that goes all the way up there. Why? Because why not? Oh God, that's a long way up. Well, let's line it up with some rails. Now this is going to be a journey. All right, hopefully it works. I'm really hoping there's enough powered rails to bring me all the way up. All right, I made it up the first staircase. Now the second, and we just made it. It was only right here that I slowed down. But now let's smelt up some more stone bricks. And now let's start working on the mob grinder. And finally, let's get to level 30. And perfect timing. My shuriken is fully grown as well. Harvest all of this. Now let's increase the size. I need a lot of paper to make this enchantment table. And there we go. But while I wait for this, let's go exploring. Maybe I can find some other villages that have some bookshelves for me to borrow. Oh god, look at this ravine. I'm not sure if that's a ravine, but that's a tall mountain. Those are two totally different things. <laughs> I did not know my terms. Yeet! Ow! Still no luck finding a village, but there is a jungle over here. Oh my god, it looks like I'm looking over the Jurassic World. Let's return to Monkey and enter the jungle. Let's see what's special in here. Bruh, it looks like it's been looted already. Might as well steal the gold blocks and the obsidian because I'm gonna make my own portal later. Yo, I found a panda, you thick boy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, here you go, sir. Oh, look how cute he is. Whoa, 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 what's going on over here? No, this is gonna start a massive fire. Relax. No, this is not good. I gotta save the world right now. Okay, I think we're good. Dang, I'm a hero. Someone get me an Oscar. The sun is setting though, so let's hide in this little cave. This thing looks perfect for a caveman. That's probably why I'm in here. But let's hide. Yo, take a look at what I just found. Is this even Minecraft at this point? Like, why is this so straight on this edge? And how are there trees up? There's even a bee up there. He's chilling. All right, yeah, there's something wrong right here. Ooh, I found a village and some cows. Give me yo me. All right, please have some bookshelves. A bunch of iron though. I wouldn't mind taking some more hay. I do need some some more food and unfortunately no luck i do see a bunch of sugarcane laying around so let's just collect that this will help me get some paper oh my god there's a whole family over here i couldn't find anything else for the next two days so all i did was collect some sugarcane and kill some cows for some leather let's make some paper now bam and now there's some books and that gives me 10 bookshelves well let's just sit here and afk until this grows all right hopefully this is enough i'm getting real impatient here bam oh yeah that's plenty and finally a level 30 enchantment table let's see what i get for just three efficiency four not bad and now let's enchant the axe. So touch. Vigilancy 4. Not bad. But now let's head up to the mob farm. Get to level 30 and enchant all my armor and tools. Bruh, take a look at this sword I just enchanted. This is one enchantment. Now that is loaded. But there we go. I actually got some pretty good enchantments for my first try. Especially this sword. Oh my god. But now I should be ready for anything that comes at me. But that being said, let's actually go to the nether. I'm gonna need some more obsidian though. So back into the caves I go. Why is there so much corona flying around? What the heck? Wait. All right, found the obsidian I need. And let's get mining. And now let's build this giant nether portal inside this mountain. And this is what I got so far. Carved a little hole and the nether portal is right there. Hopefully it lights up. Let's grab a flint and steel. Please light up. Uh, nice. All right, we got a giant portal right here. Now let's do some decorating. And there we go. It's all decorated and nice. And now let's get prepared to go to the nether. All right, I'm all ready to go in. But before we do that, let's take my shears and get some leaves. The best part of the entire video. And with this, let's cover up this entire portal with some leaves. Add a little bit more detail. And there we go. It's all overgrown. And now we'll go to the nether. Okay, I'm not sure where I spawned. I'm definitely really high up. Yep, the bedrock is right there. Ah, uh, here we go. And now let's find my of another portal. Ooh, there's a bastion right over there. Let's bridge all the way over there. And oh, the goal is right there. Let me just uh, come over here. Oh, I missed the jump. Oh, where am I? Go, go, go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that's a big boy. Okay, let's make this a little more safe. And we are here. Let's come up here and snatch the gold. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not really sure if there's anything in this part of the bastion. There might be some chests, but let's just not even bother. Oh, finally, I found a fortress. Let's bridge up here now and let's kill some blazes. And there we go. Ooh, there's another bastion. Maybe there's some more gold in here. This is definitely not the residential one. So there are gold blocks somewhere. Oh, yeah. It's too easy. Thank you very much for your business. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's let's not play stupid games. That was a close call. Here you guys go. You guys can have a treat. Since it's Christmas. Here's some gold, guys. And let's dig you guys into a hole. Please do not escape. Come on, come in. And let's aim for some ender pearls. I have a ton of gold. All right, managed to finally get ender pearls, two stacks, and we are out of here. And let's head home. And now using all these ender pearls, I can make some eyes of ender to defeat the ender dragon. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's 
first enchant an OP bow. Oh, yeah. Talking about OP. Garbage. All right. I managed to get three pretty good bows that I could combine with all of the enchantments. Let's make an anvil here. And let's combine all these up. Bam and bam. The most OP bow he could get. And let's name it the Pew Pew Shooter. And it should be ready to go. Let's throw the first Eye of Ender. And it's that way. And it popped. My luck is insane. All right, let's chuck another one. And the same direction. This must be pretty far. Oh, God, this isn't good. Let me save this forest. Oh, man. Stop, 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 stop. And please reward me with the golden apple. Yep, let's keep going. You know what? Let's take some cocoa beans so I can make a cookie farm later on. And some bamboo for a bamboo farm let's chuck another one. Oh man this is real far let's chuck another one. Oh, i changed directions i think we're on to it Yeet. oh down it goes all right it's right down here let's dig straight down into a cave it looks like there's a dripstone cave over here as well and a nice little mine shaft with the uh, amethyst geode oh yeah it is well let's continue digging i have no idea how deep the stronghold spawns now oh. okay let's continue Ooh. i'm already at y7 so i might have missed it it has to be here somewhere right where's it at oh i found it let's go in and let's find this portal room ah here it is let's mine this away lock myself in back off and oh there's already one in here whoa there's a mo there's a dungeon in here right beside it i've never seen that before i got a Literally grind some zombies and go to the end at the same time. That's Ender's Silk Touch in here. That's pretty cool. Let's throw these eyes of Enders inside. Yoink. Beep. Up. Up. Beep. Beep. Up. And let's just chuck this last one for good measure. And yeah. Yee. All right. Let's jump right onto land and let's defeat this bad boy. Shoot all these crystals. I got that one, I think. Grab that one. Bro, did I hit that one yet? I don't even know. My aim is horrendous. <laughs> no, I'm missing everything. And this guy's still perching, bro. This guy vibing. Let's just build up. I just need this one over here that I missed. Oh, my aim is bad. Oh, my God. There we go. And thank God that one up there. <gasps> oh, my Lord. What did I do to you? Get away. Back off. And the final one. There we go. Come here, baby. Uh, I want your baby. I want your kids. You are not the mother. This guy's flying really high. He really doesn't want to get hit. Oh, he's coming down. Let's hit him a couple times while I can with my arrows. And let's go in. Uh, 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 uh. And he's going to launch me any second now. Oh, ah into his breath. You can't run from me. Oh, he's coming down again. This guy wants all the smoke. All right, come get some. Do as much damage as I can. And let's go in. You know what? This time, let's slap his ass. Uh, yeah, you like that? I'll just slap his head. That was kind of inappropriate. And he's going to die soon. Two more hits. And he's dead. We got the dragon. Whee! Dino snapped his fingers. Let's borrow the dragon's egg. And since we're here, might as well go over to the end city dimension and find myself an elytra. Let's bridge up here and yeet a pearl. And we are in. Oh, there's an end city right there. Oh my God. <gasps> There's an end city ship. That means we already found in a light. <gasps> yeah. Let's just speed bridge across the void. You know, nothing serious. Let's pearl yeet. Uh, and we literally had to do no exploring. We got so lucky. Where's the entrance? Right here. Let's kill some of these shulkers and finally grab myself a shulker box. Uh, uh, Out. All right, time for the chaos. Oh my, there's so much happening right now. Bruh, there's so many of them everywhere. All right, I think I got most of them. And let's go ahead and collect all the stroker shells. We got that. And what's inside the chests? Oh, that's poo and ooh, diamonds. And a mending iron shovel. That's not too bad. Let's kill some more shulkers. And nothing good inside these chests. But I did get some shulker shells. Please stop. Stop. It's getting real annoying. It doesn't harm me. Like, come on. How did you manage to live? But let's go get the most important thing in this end city, which is these rods, obviously. Come on. Like, look how beautiful these are. Look at these end rods. Nah, just kidding. It's the end city ship. Let's first take out all these shulkers. There we go. Let's just chuck a pearl. Yeet. Oh, let's hop in. Yo, what's good? Just don't shoot it. Just don't shoot. Come on. Come on. You know it's your fate. Mm. Anything good in the chests? Not really. But here we go. The Elytra. Finally. Let's slap this on. And off we go. Whee! It's been a while since I used one of these. But let's fly over to this end city over here. And see what's over there. Oh, this is so nice. What's up, boys? <sighs> and there's just more chaos in here. I don't really need more shulker shells. I might as well just have some fun shooting these guys. Anything in here? Oh, finally. Oh, look at these leggings. Okay, let me just take these off. And uh, let's trade pants. Keep those. Hmm, this is looking a little better, though. Psych. But now let's head home. You think I can make that? Oh, I think I could, actually. Oh, definitely. Let's go over here. I don't really want to die, so we're not going to fly into it. And let's just yeet. And we're back. Back home we go. That might have been the world record's fastest time to get an elytra. Let's turn these into shulker boxes. And finally, I have shulker boxes in Minecraft. I really need these in my hardcore series. But before I use this elytra, let's get unbreaking and mending. Time to build a villager trading hall. I need some stone bricks to build it, though. So let's get mining. 
and let's build it right over here in the open it's just gonna be a small simple one and this villager already wants to be in here all right stay right there <laughs> No, oh, bruh. Come on, buddy. Get back in there. All right, got it pretty much built up. Now I just got to move the villagers into here and get a zombie right down here. Let's make a little minecart track over to the village and let's try to steal some villagers. Oh, there we go. Come on, buddy. Wee. And in you go there. Oh, he's already in there. Let's break the minecart. Oh, bruh. Where'd he go? Hello? My man just disappeared. Where'd he go? He literally just vanished into thin air. What? There's no way that's him, right? Hold up. Is this guy Houdini? There's something wrong here. Okay, you stay in there. Let me just uh make a quick maneuver over this way all right come out buddy oh he's going to bed oh there's two all right guys one of you has to get into the minecart it's only fair i'm coming in come on you can't avoid it and then you stupid villager get in there sit down oh oh my there we go we got one okay it's the same guy that escaped all right in you go there's no way you're escaping now Dang. All right, I'll see you guys when I manage to get villagers into here. All right, I managed to get all these librarians in here. And now we just got to get a mending book. Let's keep breaking these and replacing them until I get a mending villager. Okay, I'm having no luck getting a mending villager. But instead, let's start working on the bamboo farm. Because I'm going to need some emeralds to trade for a mending book. And let's just plant it right over here. Because it doesn't really matter where it is. Oh, right back to trying to get a mending villager. Oh, yes, I got it. Mending. Okay, let's just trap him in here. Oh, I just punched him. No. No, he escaped. Come on, get, get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. This guy is Spider-Man. No, he increases prices. Okay, come on, come on, buddy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to punch you. Come on, stop moving, stop moving. Relax. All right, here we go. Oh, I think I got some quick feet. Oh, we got him, we got him. Let's just lock in the tray. Let's get a bookshelf. There we go. And now let's wait until the nighttime so a zombie can infect him. And I can get the trades real low. All right, I got myself a zombie with a sword. Um, I'm kind of worried that's going to kill the villagers. So let's actually get a new zombie. I'm not sure how that will affect them. Come here, daddy. That did not sound right. But let's open this up. Hello, buddy. Are you still many villager? All right. Come say how. <laughs> Look at him freaking out. I'm sorry, bro. I'm going to do it to you. Let me run away so he focuses is on the villager come on bro there's juicy meat right over here come on in and he's in there all right let's run away and let the magic happen oh he's getting destroyed in there oh i think he's a zombie villager now hello oh yeah he is all right let's kill this guy over here Ugh, ugh. Let's cover this guy up so the sun can't burn him. And let's make some potions now. I got my potions. Let's grab a golden apple. Hello, sir. Throw the weakness and eat the apple. Now we wait. Hey, and let's see the trade. Oh, yeah. One emerald is needed. That makes my life a lot easier. I got my emeralds and my books. And let's get some mending books. Ah, uh, that's a little too much. I'll set you free, though, buddy. You've done me well. Be free, my man. And also this hidden guy down here. Yeah, let's not talk about about that guy and now i can put mending on all of my tools my armor but most importantly my elytra now all i need are some fireworks so let's get some paper let's go grab some gunpowder this is gonna be the last time i'm gonna be riding this minecart system because i can fly soon all right yoinked all the gunpowder let's jump put this on Whee! superman super cookie yeah touchdown and fireworks i'm not sure if the flight duration changes the power of an elytra let me know in the comments but let's go yes i can finally fly in minecraft Whee! i then spent the rest of the day flying around the world and having lots of fun i even flew into some caves and it was pretty dangerous before i start exploring super far with this elytra let's first get unbreaking on it i gotta keep enchanting this book until i get unbreaking three last enchantment none let's go get some more xp it's a lot easier being able to fly up here now a safe landing ah now let's get some xp Whee! Oh, yes. My second book, Unbreaking 3. Finally. I'm not sure that even helps. But now let's go explore and try to find a lush cave. And let's build a base in there. Let's grab all my resources and throw it in the shulker box. And we are off. It's adventure time. No signs of any Azealia trees yet. But we'll find one eventually. I think I saw two actually. I didn't corner my eye over there. But there is one over here that I spotted. Ow. That's kind of dangerous. But here we go. An Azealia tree. Let's whip out my shovel and start mining straight down. And you know what? We're going to hit a beautiful lush cave full of leaves my favorite block in the game oh okay i hit some moss blocks and 
Blueberries. And we're in. Yes. We're in a lush cave. Oh, this is a ravine as well. Oh my god, we're going down, downhill quick. I want to find the big sections though. Oh my. Oh my. yo, you do not belong here. This is a peaceful zen area. But this place is full. I want to find the big cavern area, though. The beautiful looking places. Ooh, there's some lily pads here. Let me snatch some of those drip leaves. Actually, nah. I don't need them. Let's let's keep them in the nature. Protect the planet. Look at this area. This is exactly what I was looking for. Look how beautiful this lush cave is. A nice little wall. Oh, axolotls. I forgot they spawn here. We got the glowberries everywhere. The nice flowers. Oh, this place is... I can live in here. This is a perfect place to build a home. You guys don't belong here. Oh, there's a lot of axolotls over here. And a ravine with a mine shaft in it. Hold up. I could definitely fly my elytra through here. Let me put this on. Yeet. Oh, yeah, definitely. These poor axolotls don't have a big area to swim, though. So let's build them a giant aquarium down here as well. But first, let's build a home right in the middle of this lush cave. I got all my resources, and let's get building. All right, I finished the inside of the house. Can you guys guess what it is or what it looks like? Let's go see. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I still need to finish the roof, though, but it's supposed to be an upside-down house. And there we go. The roof is complete. I think it looks kind of cool. An upside-down house in the middle of a lush cave? Kind of sick. Oh, my God. There's so many axolotls trapped down here. Yo, these guys... Oh, they they just murdered a fish up this stream. But yeah, this is the view from my house. It looks pretty cool. You can see right into the lush cave. And you might have noticed I did choose a different spot in the cave. And this one has a giant mine shaft up here as well. But let's grab some wood here. Make a crafting table, some sticks, mine some coal, and some iron. And let's smelt up some iron. And with all of this, I can make some buckets. Bam. And now I can save these axolotls. Let's take them home. Yoink. Let me save you. Yeah, and the bucket. And another pink one. Now let's collect a bunch of resources from the lush cave so I can replicate it at home and give them more space to swim and back home we go all right now that we're back home let's actually transform this little edge of the mountain and turn it into a lush biome because there's no such thing as lush biomes yet there's only lush caves and this is where all my axolotls will live and then i'll start breeding them and maybe i'll get the rarest axolotl the blue one this is what i got so far i got some clay here and this will be where the axolotls will live it's kind of small it's not that much bigger but at least they have somewhere to swim other than being stuck in a little hole and it's gonna pour down here where they could travel and then i'm gonna add a lot of decoration around and and we will be done. It's looking pretty good. I added some spikes here so I can include some glowberries because they need to hang on something and obviously I'm not in the cave. So this way I can actually put some glowberries in and now I just need to add some leaves and some azalea leaves. So let's take a flowering azalea here. Let's bow meal it and let's shear all the leaves and slap them down over there. Oh yeah, there we go. And for the final touch, let's grab these buckets of axolotls and slap them down right up here. Bop, beep, bop, slop, beep, boop. And look at them swim. Welcome to your new home, guys. Drop six names in the comments for all of these guys. But I personally think this looks really nice. Minecraft should add a lush biome instead of it just being in a cave. What do you guys think? And now I'm gonna go get some netherite armor because I said I want to be as OP as possible. Let's head back up to my mob farm and grab some gunpowder. Whee! And now let's go find a desert bomb so we get a bunch of sand. If worse comes to worse, I might have to mine this again. Yo, check this out. There's an exposed dripstone cave right here. That's pretty cool. Let's enter and see what it looks like. Oh, it's even underwater. Yo, what the? Look what I found. A bigger cave of dripstone. This is a pretty cool cave. There's a giant hole right through here. That's pretty cool. And I found this. What? An abandoned ship right here. It looks like somebody traveled across this giant ocean to find like new land. Yeah, I think we can all agree Minecraft looks a lot different now. Still no signs of a desert. Ooh, here we go. It doesn't look like a giant desert, but I found some islands with sand on it, and that should be enough. Let's get mining. A whole inventory of sand, and oh wait, I got a sugar box. Might as well fill this up too. Ah, I don't need it. Alright, let's head back home. And now let's craft stacks and stacks of TNT. I mean, that's only three stacks, but close enough. Into the nether. And let's mine for some ancient debris. Let's carve out a giant mine shaft. Let's mine a super long strip. And let's line it up all of TNT. And let's light her up. Let's see how much TNT I get. Drop some guesses in the comments. Oh my god. Go, go, go. Get out, get out, get out. Oh my god. Good thing I have fire protection. Oh, here we go. There's three right here. Oh, another piece. Let's block this off. And we ended it off with even more ancient debris. All right, let's mine it all now. And I got a total of six for around 40 pieces of TNT, which isn't that bad. 
finally got 34 pieces of ancient debris, which allows me to turn all of my tools and armor into netherite. All right, here we go. Let's turn these into netherite ingots. And let's upgrade all of my armor and my tools. Let's go. We're decked out. And now we're pretty OP. We basically have everything except one thing. And that is a beacon in this world. Let's try to get looting three on this sword. All right, I'm breaking three. Looting two. That's not bad. But we could definitely do better. And there we go. Sharpness forward, knock back to looting three. And now let's go hunt for some wither skeletons. Oh, God. There is a bunch over there. Holy cow. Look how many there are. What? They are everywhere. Oh, let's pray this looting three helps to me. Oh, yeah. It's a blessing having knock back two as well. They can't even touch me. Oh my god, is this even possible? Why is there so many wither skeletons here? It must be because of the biome. I think they spawn a lot in soul sand valleys, and uh, I think they're right. <laughs> Oh god, my shield broke. I'm out of here. Let me go get another one. I did manage to get one skull, though. Oh, that's two. Got four. That was really lucky. All right, let's finally head back home and kill this wither. All right, we're in a nice little cave, and I decided to do it in a deep slate area because I feel like the block is harder to break. But let's spawn the wither in, and let's start killing him. Let's just uh, make a little barrier right here just in case. All right, get my bow ready. And... Kill. Oh my god, he did a lot of damage blowing up. Yeah, we are doing a lot of damage. The bow is super OP. Oh, he's coming closer. He's already halfway health. We are destroying him right now. Let's take on my axe and start swinging. Let's get some crits in there. He's gonna die any second now. Oh man. Oh no. Let's heal up. Oh, it's getting really close. Okay, I'm at two hearts. And let's get back in there and start swinging again. And he's gonna die in the last hit. Let's punch him, actually. Let's just give him a a quick little punch to kill him. Oh, get never mind. He doesn't like that. And he's dead. And we got the nether star. Let's head over here and make some iron blocks. Bam. That is definitely not enough. I do some more in here. I'm a little short. Let's AFK this iron golem farm for a day or two. Ooh. And this is the last iron golem we need for nine stacks of iron ingots. I definitely did not need this much, but I wanted it to feel like perfect. And there we go. And now we for sure have the right amount. And let's build it right over here beside the lush biome. And there we go. We got our working beacon. And let's give myself speed two because I cannot move very fast. And there we go. But now that we are super OP and that we have basically everything, let's just build some random things. I think it'll be pretty cool to build like a research tower or a house at the very top of this mountain. Let's fly up there. And I'll build a house right on top of here. All the way up at Y255, which used to be the old build height limit. Let's go grab some resources first. And I have no stone bricks. Let's mine some more stone. All right, let's get all the way up there. And let's start building a research tower or a house or something up here. And this is the house I made on top of the mountain. It looks kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. But instead of being a house, I'm going to turn this into a research center to research stuff on mountains, I guess. <laughs> all right, let's build like some tables right in the middle. So it's like a desk that people can work on and do their research or something like this. Let's put some chairs down with some trap doors. So it looks a little armrests. And I'm not sure what to do for a computer, but let's do a piston with an item frame, a uh, rail as a keyboard and a stone button has a mouse and same thing on this side here's a little office let's build another table over here and this one will be a little bit bigger like this i'll put a gap in the middle and some stairs like that and for this one let's put brewing potions here so they could do some lab stuff and another seat over here on the very edge so the boss man can sit here and watch let's also put some more against the window because why not bop, 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 bop. and bam bam and there's my little research center i'm not really sure what else to add i kind of want to add like a telescope or something but I have no idea how to build that. And let's just stay here for the night and watch the sunset above this giant mountain and look down to my little home, see how puny everything is, and have a beautiful view of everything in the world. And it's day 100. I'm not really sure what to do, so I'm just gonna fly around and just enjoy my elytra and enjoy the 1.18 world. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And just FYI, there won't be 200 days because it'll interfere with my hardcore series. So if you guys want to see more 1.18 content, go check out my hardcore series in the first link below, and I hope you guys enjoy. Take care. Once again, thank you Dragon City for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to play Dragon City today and get that free reward, click the first link in the description.